so welcome back welcome for to understand more about dictionary so far we have seen that we can get out values from list or change them using index positions for list that way somehow we have to know what is the index we want to target however in some case we don't want to store retrieve change elements based on integer index but rather we want to store them in a named property this is where dictionary in python comes into picture a dictionary is nothing but a many pair of key value property key is a generally a string description of what it is while value is the actual value that you want to store so the format is key underscore one colon value underscore one similarly for key two three four so on and so forth not difficult understand on the left hand side you have a key on the right hand side you have a value so if I say my key name the name of uh, the key is my name and on the right hand side the value is coel so that becomes a key and a value right suppose we want to store name and age of customer we will do as below in the example below notice that there is a colon very very crucial very important for dictionary because if you if you do not use colon and diction, dictionary has been written in that manner so very very important that you use a colon right so separates a key and a value for one property while the comma separates many such properties in this case the name and age properties so please note that the key is always to the left of the colon and the value is always to the right of the colon right so also notice that a list is denoted by square bracket which we already know by now we have practiced a lot a tuple by electric ele sorry elliptical bracket while dictionary is denoted by a curly bracket the squiggly bracket as we call it so if I say my dictionary underscore one is equals to name of course because you can put it in a single quotation or a double quotation doesn't matter colon such in comma because I'm separating two properties so age again because it's a string it is in single quotation or double quotation as per your um, as per what you are passing <coughs> sorry colon 43 in the above example we have two keys name and age and we have two corresponding values such an and 43 one most important thing while a value can repeat any number of times in a dictionary a key can't repeat right so please understand on the left hand side when we pass an information just like tuple you cannot change it change the value yes but you cannot change the key a name is always a name I have a name my husband has a name my friends has a name my family members has a name everybody has a name a name stays the same but the value will change for that name right so um, you can also look at it this way like a list or a tuple on the left hand side there is a tuple uh, I don't want to confuse you but just for your understanding you cannot change a tuple you cannot change the key and uh, just like list uh, you can change the values in a list so you can also change the values in a next to the key so answer the below question how many keys and values are there for the following dictionary my dictionary two I have given equals to very important name is coel degree MBA years of experience 10 whether student false distance from college 25.3 kilometers right so you want to know how many keys and values are there so of course one two you can count the colons actually one two three four five so five what are the keys for the following dictionary my dictionary two same information so the moment you say key you get this information right 
name, degree, years of experience because these are the keys. This cannot be changed. And when you ask for the values, these are the values. Right? So is the following a valid dictionary? My dictionary 2, name Coel, MBA 10, false, name Shreya. So you cannot repeat a key, right? We told you we cannot repeat a key. You cannot give, uh, you know, two uh, keys in the same dictionary. So the system will not understand who are we talking about. Are we talking about Coel or are we talking about Shreya? So this is false. You can use your logical thinking. Suppose you want to access the above dictionary's name attribute. The program is not sure whether you will return Coel or Shreya. So as I told you just now, to avoid all this by design, a dictionary can't have repeating keys. You cannot repeat the keys because if you're repeating keys, that means of the same, you're changing the values, but you're repeating the keys. So it won't understand what to return. So all keys must be unique inside one dictionary. You can, however, reuse them in another dictionary no problem so this part is very very important very important so how can we know the number of items in dictionary how can we know all the keys of a dictionary how can we know all the values of a dictionary is there a shortcut or command? Let's see. So suppose the dictionary is like below. My dictionary 3, name, coel, degree, MBA, years of experience, 10, student, false, distance, so. Now how will you know what is the length? So there is a keyword for that and the keyword is LEN. Stands for length. Right? So this is hashtag. So this is commented out. So the moment I put LEN, this turns into green important and crucial as well so it turns into green that means it's a keyword and what you do you give the name of your dictionary which is my dict 3 and you get 5 similarly to know the keys of a dictionary to the following notice the dot sign so what lies before the dot sign what lies after the dot sign so here the moment i say my dictionary and i want the i want to know the name of the key values so these are the keys right so the moment you say that and you put an empty bracket these are your outputs similarly if you want to know the values my dictionary 3 dot values and then in bracket you get the values simple need practice it don't come uh, in a day i don't want to give false expectation so we stop here and we begin the next lecture